Spade, Camu, how are you now? Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us here in the stream. As I said before, guys, we got a best of five. It's the BTSL year-end finals. We'll talk more about the hype that is the prize pool in just a moment. But until then, to the top left, we've got the blue Protoss hero. Bottom right is the pink Protoss. It is Zest. Dude, you know who has no chill, and I fucking love it, by the way? Uh, who? Kilaris. Ah. Cause he's, he of course joined me to cast the Korean group and Hero, for uh -huh. those who missed it, he went on a rampage, like a five kill win streak, easy peasy. And people kept asking, which hero is it? And Kalaris would always respond with the good one. I was like, oh. ooh, ooh, okay. I like yeah. it, saucy. Oh uh, yeah, I imagine some people just come in as soon as they hear Hero and they're just hopeful that it is the old one because you know, they, they've watched StarCraft for, for a long time, but Realistically, there was like two weeks where T X Team Liquid Hero actually played any tournaments, and that was the only time I was like, "Okay, I get you. Like, I get what you're asking." But every other time, it's been like, "When has X Team Liquid Hero actually done anything? I just never <laughs> been invited to anything. I don't I, even think he's invited to like the smaller tournaments anymore. I haven't seen him play at all." I feel so terrible, but like I kind of agree with this statement, and not because I necessarily think like to be clear, I don't think X Team Liquid Hero is a bad player. Ace Revolution Hero is a bad player. I, I think it's just that one is better than the other, so it's fair to call him the good one without inferring the other's bad. But I think unfortunately everyone assumes that, no, one's bad because you said one is good. Well, uh, yeah, there's that. I mean, at this point, X TL Hero might be bad. As I said, I haven't seen him play in anything, including the smaller tournaments. So, I mean, I, no, no, who knows? It could be like only bronze. No, just kidding. It could be only masters, perhaps. <laughs> oh you don't my god! Trade that far. <laughs> Speaking of that, did you hear? I, I don't know. You were on vacation, so I don't expect you to. Okay, I'm not holding you to this. But did you catch anything about the sponsor to tournament we held? Nah, I saw people tweets. Uh, you know, if they got third or first okay. or whatever. So the guy who came first, Mark from Twitch. If, if you remember, he was the, one of the guys we met at TwitchCon. Yeah. He. We seeded it based on ranking, and he was literally like, he told me probably gold 1v1. He honestly didn't know. I looked at his profile. It was bronze, right? 1v1. Mm -hmm. See Masters 4v4 think nothing of it, because honestly, that never means anything. But it did for this guy, because he's literally never played any 1v1 games. He only plays 4v4s, and he won the freaking ah. tournament, because he can play Master Turtle 4v4 level, Turtle the Carriers, and just a move to win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how I won my gold tournament was because I was probably actually diamond, but I just I just I had like never played one v one ladder. Um, well, it's a good strat. The anecdote I bring up here has everything to do with the fact that like if we're gonna call somebody bad, I mean it's kind of hard to define bad. This was <laughs> good though. Oh, so sick! If you guys don't know, there's only two things that can block out an adept psionic transfer, and that's a psionic transfer of your own or a building. So he's gonna be able to body block this once again. Also, shout out to Hero. He's got the really sick brand new Purifier War Chest skin. And I don't know if you've seen these things yet, Zombie They got a really cool death animation. I have not seen them die. That's that's gonna be a new one on me. Uh, continued uh, just denial of Zest's not just scout, but also attempted harassment. Hero set up these two shield batteries, you know, realizing there's aggression on his way. He's buying oh, time he to avoid Ray that would be helpful. He he micros his own shield battery to actually build it, uh, keep it alive. That's kind of sick. There's the explosion because they are robots now. Love the purifier skins. Okay, Th that's interesting. But this is pretty all in from Zest too. I mean, he's warping in. He got a warp gate specifically over here to get the faster warp ins. Heroes shield batteries were meant to buy him a lot more than just a couple of seconds. Mm, the voider I said is that it'd be super helpful. Even if it dies, Ooh. if he gets targeted, still dealt damage to two stalkers, killed one. Yeah, it helped reduce a lot of the damage and dealt a ton in the process, too. That prismatic alignment for even a second is a lot, but the purifiers are having a hard time defending. Shield batteries out of juice. We got a new one on the way, but so far, he's held the attack. <laughs> Zip's dying are so stupid, actually. I, love I don't it, know if I like that. Um, I don't know if, you know, if you notice, they throw their hands in the air as they explode, too. It's so good. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so there was a bit of a lack of focus fire in some of those weak stalkers. Zest certainly getting away with with superior micro, I would say, for that that one engagement. But maybe enough. Uh, the voider comes out, but it actually can't retreat once it's been overcharged. Oh, it gets three kills though, like in the process. Totally super worth. A couple probes to soak mm. the shots, and the stalker count's getting pretty close to even. 
Hero, on the other hand, keep in mind, guys, it's not just about, like, playing even Stevens here. He's got a base above his opponent. Zest really has to kill him. Yeah. Or deal significant damage to the probe line. I, I mean, you know, something it was getting into the main base, like a Depths or an Oracle or something like that. But it is just gateways, and at this point, it is just those Stalkers, a single force field uh, to try and help out. Zest is really close to making this work, but the pro pull is still an okay move for Hero to do up until he loses like 10 or 12. Uh, the shield battery also finished up, but it used up all of its energy already, so not really, uh, not too useful, but better than 100 minerals spent on a Zealot, I suppose. He did warp in some earlier, found them to get a bit of damage. Mm, this is so force close. Build. Yeah, but uh, the probes aren't adding enough damage. That shield battery is really necessary here, and it's... It's not really even like damage, anything. like buffer. Like if the stalkers waste a volley on a probe, that's amazing for a hero. But that's not happening. Zest has been ignoring them, purposely oh. target firing beyond them. Once again, the warpens favor Zest ever so slightly, and I think this game might be coming to a close here. That stalker count has begun wow. to snowball five to two. I can't believe that someone who had the time to build two shield batteries lost three, because <laughs> one of them died. I miss map intros. Oh, now the snare wants to work or stinger, or whatever. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's game number two of the best of five. Joined once again by Zombie Grub, we hop into Abyssal Reef. To the bottom right, we have the pink Protoss Zest. In the top left is the blue Protoss. He is Root Hero. McScruff, by the way, amazing name. Scruff, McGruff, or Gruff, McScruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60612. Uh, I'm glad I get to tune in. Happy snow day from a teacher in Vermont. Glad to see you up so early working hard. Yo, if you're a teacher who's enjoying the snow day, then I also know there's 30 some odd kids ac accompanied with you that are also enjoying the snow day. So peace be with you all and enjoy this wondrous day. Good, good one. I guess uh, actually the East Coast got uh, like uh, most of the states in the East Coast got some snow, which is weird because when I was in Denver expecting snow, it was like 60 degrees, which is like spring weather. Oh, I thought you were just going to bring up the fact that it snowed. I'm like, I had no idea. Twitter didn't post a picture every five minutes to <laughs> tell me. <laughs> I figured there's enough people saying that it snowed <clears throat> and some people got a lot of snow, man. I wish I had uh, saved the picture. Oh, sorry, guys, I got the score wrong. You are correct. Thank you. Um, I wish I had saved the picture on Twitter. I saw it. Some guy from the UK is like, all these Americans making such a big deal about a couple feet of snow. And then they had, like sculpted two feet, like huge, massive feet out of snow. <laughs> I always enjoy the, like, you know, overreaction posts where it's like, you know, never forget. And it's like one, one little, like, snowflake. Cause they, they'll like they'll For say like many. especially on the DC area like it's like two feet and then we get like you know two inches and it's like oh okay. I'm waiting for the snow instead. I've been caught in this horrible fog, dude. I I think part of it is like because earlier this year when the California wildfires hit, we got a lot of smoke, right? And then the worst wildfires ever in like history are burning right now. So I think we're getting combination mm -hmm. smoke and this weather, which was already naturally foggy. So we just have this like extra thick. I can't see like ten feet in front of me. It's so scary yeah. going outside for real. I don't make jokes about, oh, outside is scary, but it's legit so scary right now. <laughs> it, it does kind of look like Silent Hill. But, you know, we had an important thing happen, not just now to see a proxy gateway. Again, Zest doing the same thing, really. But Hero went up with a Nexus first. Um, that That's pretty shocking to see in a PvP. And the thing is that he kind of is, like, already on the border of almost, like, getting away with it. You know, like seven extra probes is a lot of extra production that might time out like really perfectly for this, uh, well, incoming four gate, I suppose. Well, certainly, yeah, four gate, yeah. It's, well, it's a huge, it's a huge deal in a PvP Nexus time. This, is, this much has never ever changed through any of the expansions of the game. So, yeah, if he holds on to this to any degree, he comes out really far ahead. But as we saw last time, sometimes easier said than done. This time, instead of a bunch of shield oh. batteries, we're going to have a robo. Uh, he got in that secondary <laughs> scout to see what's going on. Scout's the third gateway, sees no Nexus down. Yeah. Hero's got a pretty yeah. good read, and that's why we saw that cancel leading to the robo immediately. Yeah, it was trying to go for Twilight Council, but that didn't work out. The Stargate, I mean, it might have already been done last game, or maybe let it finish because he did think the Voider is going to be helpful, but an Immortal is, is a lot more helpful. He doesn't have the shield batteries for timing on this one. He's got a couple stalkers. He's got a little bit of high ground vision, which is kind of cool. Probes get pulled, absolutely necessary. He can lose up to 10 before he's really got to sweat it. 
Because, of course, all this has to do is buy a little bit of time. Some of those stalkers are in one-shot range. He knows it, too. That's why he's giving chase. But falling back now too far away. Catches two stalkers here on the right side. That Immortal's going to have to get super chronoed out if he wants a chance to hold on to this game. Yeah, I think he does have a chrono, but it's it's, a real, it's only just begun. And the shield batteries are trying their best to see if oh. keep some of these oh. stalkers basically immortal. They are running out of energy really quick. The micro is really good here to both sides, though, and that's a big part of why this didn't just go easy peasy. But even with that immortal popping out, it's only going to be able to one shot like one of the stalkers. Yeah, is that, this is. Heroes had his limit for it to get afford to lose too. Three more stalkers are just warped in from Zest. They're going to get him over here, and that should definitely be enough. He actually pops the shield right with that, and that's already a great move. Oh, he tries to force field, misses the force field, but it might not have mattered. There's so many stalkers anyways. This game looks like it's already over. Yeah. Well, if the shield batteries were up sooner, I actually think the hero holds. Um, you know, that's oh. all the stalkers alive, with the pro pool even taking more shots to kill, and, and the immortal actually helps uh, instead of just, you know, gets target fired. This is interesting, the way he set this up. He's going for a shield battery. He wants to hold on to the game a little bit longer if he can. Here's a uh, barrier is popped and absorbed immediately. That soccer burst damage so good. Can't wait for November 8th, December 18th, guys. Hey. Six days. It's like I early guess. Christmas. So he's going to know he's on a decent probe count compared to his opponent for this. So holding up in the main, possibly sacrificing the natural base. I can see what his thought process was to hold on to the game. He is going to clear some of this out. I said this was over, but I was maybe a bit wrong because he saves the Nexus. Yes, he does. And he's only down two probes. He has a superior tech with the Robo and access to Immortals at Zest. Even if he does expand here and continue keeping Hero at a low economy, you know, maybe you're too afraid to bind from it or doesn't want to build probes. Uh, his army could still die to something that's going to have two immortals soon. Never been happier to be wrong about a situation. Yeah. Uh, but I like it. Zest is like adapting the situation, though. He's not just trying to force the issue, making nothing but more stalkers. He actually warps in a lot of sentries. He's going to have a guardian shield. Continues waiting, right? And he's also going to have quite a few force fields, which you force field the immortals out. Obviously, you take the trade with the stalkers. You force field one of them in. You can snipe it. Like, these are Ooh. in the hands of an actual good Protoss. are really quite useful. Damn, by the way, did we get a host and I missed it? Look at this viewership. 30 minutes of the broadcast. Either on the front page or getting viewed by it. I don't know which, but if you guys did host and we missed it, thank you so kindly for that. Hmm. Maybe people just really missed some Korean StarCraft too. I was going to say, the only thing on, people were bored. Do you know, something like that. Uh, grabbing the war prism. Days. Yeah, that's true. The, the grabbing the war prism would actually be so good for Zest. That that would just buy actually a really good amount of time. But he's not going to grab it. He does miss on that force field, but the war prism nice just micros micro. out of it. Good micro here from Hero. Oh, there you go. Take care of that pylon. Get that thing out of play. Stop those warpins because they've been so pesky. Ah, oh, clever. And they get the pro pool, I guess, or just misinformation, <clears throat> thinking that it's a Stargate, but it is, in fact, into a Twilight Council for Blink. I mean, Zest choosing to go for a Twilight Council instead of his own robo to try and, Chrono you know, match too. match the Immortal Count. I mean, that that's... Hmm. I wonder if that's going to worry. I don't know if Blink's soccer is actually going to make it that much uh, better for him. I mean, it would win out in the stalker versus stalker portion of the fight, but that's not really what's going to be happening here. It's going to be the mortals almost always in every part of this. It's going to keep Micro in behind it. This is what I love watching from Hero, by the way. Like, I think one of our top clips of all time is watching Hero keep units alive in a warp prism. He's so good. Yeah. I mean, Hero it might be known as the cheeser, although in this series he's not. But he's also known as just like a really good Micro, which he is showing here. Zest, you know, he is. He looks like he's gonna have Blink, and we're gonna have to see how his micro uh, compares to just the, the sheer power of a couple of Immortals. Speaking of which, he's not gonna be going through the natural. Oh man, Zest has an idea that this may be happening. Now he sees the stalkers coming at the main, barely by like a single pixel's worth of units. This is uh, this uh, this completely circumnavigates the force field problem. However, Probe's getting yeah. pulled. This is a tight situation for a hero. He's oh. a little more all that he wanted to be. The Warp Prism sniped off immediately. Thank God for that blink. The Immortals are surrounded yeah. by the Probes. Oh, no. Yeah, and even Azella getting on the action here. He's going to pull away the Probes, realizing that he can't. If he loses all his Probes, that's still a loss for him. Even if he takes out the army, because he's going to be left with sentries anyways. 
Hero is trying to target fire as many of those low stalkers as possible, doing a pretty good job. And, well, Zest does clean it up, but he's down six probes. Yeah, this is actually looking at the units lost. Surprisingly closer than I thought that would have been. That should have been an easy cleanup for Zest, was how I thought that was going to go. But by the time he pushes across the map, by the time he's over here to do his counter, there's going to be two brand new, brand new Immortals out, fresh, hot off the presses. He's going to have his own Warpins available. Uh, income, by the way, just take a quick look at the graph, has been all over the place this game, but uh, finally back in Hero's Corner with those kills. Yeah. I Only down two probes, though. I Yeah, and now a faster third. I guess Zessa will be catching up, and this game has gone from, you know, all-in to not really an all-in from Hero, but definitely dedicated attack. Uh, so now being, you know, kind of even. We do have the kind of sometimes classic dynamic of, you know, Blink versus Immortal, which one ends up being better in the long run. Now that Zest is no longer just under a bunch of pressure, the Blink Stalkers give him control of the map, but then Hero, theoretically, right, is getting to a, a better composition with now going to be on four Immortals. I mean, Zest is going to need those charge lots or else his army's going to get destroyed. I like what he tried to do. The idea here with some Adepts to maybe get around, cause some damage, yeah. force Zest to be paying all the attention at home, but those are cleaned <laughs> up pretty quickly. I really like that death animation. I just the sentries had such bad damage at a force field that attempt. Feels bad, man. Mm. Well, Zest takes a third, a little bit ahead of Hero. So small role reversal in this regard. Hero may be so convinced that Zest has to all in when Zest really doesn't, and if he's not thinking about this, this is where Zest might start taking some serious leads in the game. If Hero wants to do an all-in, taking advantage of what he knows is a you know a lot of blink stalkers, regardless of there's a transition on the way he knows that was the first thing Zest uh, invested into, then you know potentially more power to him. But yeah, Zest is I mean he was really quick to get that t uh, charge. He realized he's going to have an immortal problem, and he's even adding on Archons pretty quickly here. Things that are actually good against now uh, five immortals. The Resident Glaive Adept thing, I mean, we're going to have to see how that works out. Uh, heroes for the Council Tech here, but he is going for an all-in. Gateways have finished up. No third base. This is do or die. And Zest is preparing. Even though he has a slightly less army supply, he is preparing for this. Oh, man. We got a lot of love going in chat, too. By the way, thank you, Nateness, for not just following the stream, but subbing right off that bat. Ner Nerva, my good friend, Oleg. Oh. Thank you for the sub, dude, guys. That was kind of cool. We had a Lucid Disruptor maybe hoping for a, a, you know, a stronger target fire than what happened. It didn't actually end up being that cool. And in fact, Zest's force fields were so much better than any shenanigans Hero is pulling out here. Even the Warpers are going to go down oh. too. Yep, there we go. Goes he down. dived into the back four. That put him in range of the Immortals. So he actually started getting some kills because everything else Zest has here is so good against the Immortals. Oh, gee. GG, Zest is best. Game number three, and possibly the last one in this first best of five. Already over in a flash. In the top left, he's up 2-0. He's put his opponent on match point. He is the best. Give it up for Zest. In the bottom right has the blue Protoss. It is Root Hero. Currently at zero. I did it, I rhymed. Oh, you did, it and it was so good. It finally happened. Oh so my good. god. Mm. Well, unfortunately, while we did see Hero be an absolute badass, flooring every Korean player, every challenger he came up against in the People Images tournament, he is floundering a little bit. However, I don't feel so bad for him, because while I highly respect and enjoy the other two players in the group, Jokshi and Impact, I think Hero's got a pretty good chance against either of those guys, should he actually fall to the loser's bracket. But, uh... Oh man, some more niceties coming forward as Nightness gifts a sub to all things space. Oh, you guys are too nice. Thank you, everybody. Also, quick question for the chat. It was highly requested I make a wub emote as our new emote. I guess for the Ascension Ire intro, I see with the question mark. Let me know what your thoughts are on chat before I go start designing and wasting my time on it. See if you guys actually like the idea or not. Hmm. For some reason, I, I thought there, like, I, like, in my head, I'm already imagining that there was one. It's because we all <laughs> spam <streamer>. wub. <laughs> I mean, there's that, yeah. Um, oh, well. Uh, so last game, we had Hero be pretty... I mean, he set up things to be dangerous. You know, he went for a Nexus first. Any early aggression was was gonna potentially cut at that perfect time. And that instance, it was. Maybe the shield batteries are done a little bit sooner, and it's different, but... 
And that's also kind of, you know, if you have Abrobo a little bit sooner, that, that's an easier cleanup too. So that Nexus first was was bold and didn't work out. Uh, Pinchy's still scared too that Zest would forget it again, because the guy did it twice in a row. Why not three times in a row? But Hero is doing something clever, digging down to his roots, root hero, and going for uh, a very sneaky, I don't want to call it cheese, but it's a very sneaky Stargate. Yeah, this is kind of clever. I, I kind of actually enjoy the idea of this, the way it's been done. Because the scout from Zass, as we look, guys, this actually doesn't look too crazy. If he goes back into season no Nexus, maybe things are a little more suspicious, but... I'm not aware that's yeah. a little off-center. He did see a lack of a second pylon, and, like, he's not panicking looking around the, the map for anything proxied yet. But... Once you confirm the second pylon, you, I, th I thought the assumption was that something was going to go, you know, something was happening, so... I don't know. Zest just is... Oh, okay, he's starting to look now. All right. Well, so here's the, the up and the downside, right? You get, like, four Stalkers out, and Stalker burst damage against non-armored units is pretty heckin' good, guys. 15 a shot. You're gonna have the anti-air necessary to stop this Oracle from running rampant on your base. Yeah. It really is an unfortunate question mark. I mean, this is something that happens in all the matchups. Well, maybe not a PvZ so much, but... Even against PvT, right? Is it a Stargate? Is it a Robo? Is it a hidden Dark Shrine? I mean, what exactly is it that's hidden? So you're kind of taking guesses and, you know, if it was a Robo, then, you know, shield batteries are a must at the front. Um, even as is, these depths are a little bit scary for oh. the probe line without a shield battery, but I know Zest is making one and it is in the main. He didn't get baited by this though. Uh, you're right. Combination of the shield battery, but also the stalkers were left up here. I think Hero is really hoping the adepts would scare Zest into sending all of his units down to the natural base and responding to those. But at the same time, if he wants to ignore it, Zest could, uh, or excuse me, Hero could just transfer right past these and go into the main. Looking for that building block. No. So far, Hero's opener not really working. Uh, if it doesn't do any damage, he would be behind. But these oracles are bound to get one or two. If they combo, they can kill the probe with the shield battery. Oh, he's gonna lose uh, one oracle. Gonna die. Oh, trying to make it. Another one is actually gonna get damaged. Oh, that was a little bit weird. Uh, unfortunately, because so much extra what? attention had to have been spent on the oracles, he didn't get to use the adepts. They rush on in, but uh, it's kind of hard to focus fire all these probes. Shot well, now the problem. Oh, oh, he gets in. Okay, all right, that's complicated. How many, that's though? How many get in? Two already dead. Two. Barely gets in here. Enough to okay. get some shots. Yeah. I mean, it's important that these adepts got in here. You know, not just more damage dealt, but a little bit more time. Because at this point, losing the oracles, losing the adepts, he just threw away his army. He needs time to recover, because this could just go across the map now. He has to be a little bit careful about, like, another oracle, you know, the surprise third or fourth oracle, but... I think he knows, like, I just took a lot of damage. I'm going to try and, and really oh take advantage God. of this army supply lead and hero desperately throwing down shield batteries. <laughs> Even when it doesn't open the same way, it still ends the same way. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, it's hero on the defensive. Just praying to God shield batteries are good, but Blink is done. Just jumps off of the stalkers, and this might be game. Hero is getting, okay, yeah, he's going to tap out. GG.